Hey everyone, Refresh Boy here. Uh, I woke up at three o'clock in the morning thinking, server's been down for two hours. Surely it can't take any longer. Quite often when we have a server go down, stuff updating by about 4 a.m., ready to go, but we're still waiting. So I just wanted to do a quick video on what you can do in the meantime. Um, personally, I only do iRacing. Um, but a lot of pe other people do stuff like uh, Seto Corsa. Race Room is an amazing simulator that not many people I know have delved into. It's what got me first into sim racing, proper sim racing, before Project Cars came out. And yeah, just wanted to do a quick video. So what you can do is um, iRacing has a, um, a test server, and it's I think it's live 24-7 the whole year round. But you, it, they leave it open for these moments when you still can't update. I was hoping to, just before 4 o'clock, download all the updates and then buy the new content and download that and quickly, hopefully, jump in. I'm hoping week 13 schedule changes and we might be able to get something about the V8 supercars, which is looking pretty good. Uh... They leave their, in the offline page, they leave their Twitter page. Here we go. New Mustang, new Commodore from the VA supercars, which is, I don't know why they changed the name. It's, we, are, we all call it V8 supercars, but um, they had a program where they were trying to get rid of the V8s or introduce new uh, manufacturers in. I'm babbling on now. First of all, thanks to everyone who subscribed lately. I've got um the Subaru Triple Five going today. So yeah, very much appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you haven't, click on the subscribe button down below. Now, when you first jump into what you can do is um look up Google, type in iRacing test or test iRacing, something like that, and you'll be given the first link on that page is here. Um, I think for the first time you ever use it, um, you need to register for the test server. And it's just a matter of putting your email address in that you have with iRacing and your password. You'll get a confirmation email and then you'll come to this page. Once you've done that, you go to this page. Now, what you need is first of all, your login. But second of all, you need the content that you've downloaded onto your hard drive is the content you can access within the test server. This video is not for everybody. A lot of people know this, but a lot of people don't know this. So if you're waiting for new content, rip into this. Next time you do an update, you'll see at the top of the update window, select all. And what you can do, if you've got some an extra 100 gig on your hard drive, uh, is download every single piece of content. You don't necessarily need to own it, um, but you can download the content. That's cars and tracks. And then when the servers are down, you have access to every car within the iRacing service, it, whether you own it or not. There are so many cars that I just, yeah, I don't, don't own. But um, one thing... That I was looking at was having a look at the um, the new Falcon and the new Commodore. I'll go to a bigger window so we can uh, get a bit more detail. People who have already bought content the last two years of the Ford Falcon or the Holden Commodore, the old one, um, you get the new content for free. And these two become free. I think it goes to an archive spec once the update comes through but I don't have the Ford Falcon. So you'll see there, Ford Falcon FG V8. Let's go to a track. What track don't we have? You can go to any track you want. Have a look at this. I've got the whole gamut. Thanks, iRacing. <laughs> Let's do something silly. Um, Once you've selected a track, we're going to go to Wild Horse Pass Motorsports Park for a bit of off-roading in the Ford Falcon V8. No rules apply to this. It's just using the information off your hard drive. You're not logged into iRacing. Any fastest laps that you'll do, any practice that you'll do, 
uh, won't be saved any um, any of that data but you can still play with setups and yeah so let's go into that test session joined let's have a quick look surely by now boom there we go finally so when you go to get required updates while that's loading finally over an hour i've been waiting for this you'll get to this window when you click on the get required updates now it says here there's only two things charlotte um, i think they've changed a few details within um the roval chicane and the new porsche cup which is going to be in line with artificial intelligence now you've got your required data there which is basically the whole new i racing which is going to be very exciting but yeah next time you get to this page click on select all it'll tell you how much disk space you have how much you need if i select all 9.7 gig <laughs> i have all i'm sure i have everything okay so they've changed a lot of things to the archive Click on select all. It'll give, I think it's about oh, maximum, including the game, the content you have. It's a bit, it's no more than a hundred gig. I think it's about 50 gig or whatever. But anyway, let's have a look at what we can do. Because we haven't raced the car before, go for a quick calibration. Ninety degrees. Middle. Break. It says auto clutch. We'll calibrate the clutch. Done deal. Upshifting. I don't have my gearbox hooked up at the moment. I'm gonna, for the new V8 supercars, I'm going to put the new plate in and make it a sequential shifter. But we won't do that for now. Look left, done, right, done, exit, done. Right, we don't need anything special for this. Failed tech. <laughs> Let's see if this fails. Yes. There we go. Okay. 600 horsepower here. Yeah. Let's try that again. Being on the roof doesn't help. Are you okay? I'm fine, Jim. Thanks, buddy. Now you can do whatever you like with this. <laughs> it didn't last too long. I got over the first one alright. But yeah, too much wheel spin. And up on the roof. Don't lose any safety rating. You don't lose any eye rating or anything like that. You don't get to use your trading paints. But um, you can do whatever you like within the test session. So I highly recommend that. Go and... Um, download all the content and if you have a moment like myself where you just want to just drive um this is what you can do if you've been practicing a track or whatever and i think last season there were four or five times the server went down so highly recommend doing this jump in have a crack and yeah so thanks for watching guys a relatively quick video got it within 10 minutes Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Dan, if you didn't, make sure you subscribe and come check me out on Twitch. And I'll see you next time. Bye.